So what is your advice to marketing heads when it comes to hiring and how to use the right resources? Yeah, you know, I think the the biggest thing, you know, right now is just, you know, one, you have to start at the end and work your way back. And, and, and what do I mean by that? You know, you have to look at the total budget that you have allocated for, you know, not only your marketing spend, but your internal team as well, mm-hmm. you know, and, and the whole doing more with less has really required marketing leaders, leaders to reevaluate their current team. Okay. And then really the current skill set that exists in the marketplace. I mean, we've had to get, we've had to get more creative with, you know, what we outsource versus what we bring in house or, you know, what we use from a, from a contract piece or, you know, Hey, I just, you know, need somebody to put together, you know, or, or just write content for me or, you know, do this project or, or stuff like that. The number one thing that I'm, that my clients are coming to me right now for is they don't have the time and or the resources, you know, could they put a posting out for a head of marketing, you know, head of demand generation, you know, product marketing manager, you know, something like that. Absolutely. They would get 200 applicants like right away. Hey, Wes, I don't have the time to go through 200 applicants, set up calls with 35 individuals and, you know, try to figure out of those 35, which two or three are the best. Like I I simply do not have that time. And oh, by the way, I need to have this position hired, you know, but in seat inside of six weeks. Okay. That's when they come to, you know, myself and and my team to say, Hey, you know, we have a need. We know, you know, the marketplace, we know, you know, how much these individuals cost and it's really streamlining the process. And and that's the number one thing that, that our clients are coming to, to, to us for number two. And and it's kind of caters into, to number one is, Hey, you know what? I had to let go of, you know, I had a six person team earlier this year. I had to let go of three people. And now I'm actually at the point to where I can hire one person back. Can you just sit down with me and do an audit of the skill set that I currently have on the team, the budget that I have, you know, for this new position? And how do I maybe combine two or three job descriptions, you know, into one individual to try to, you know, bring on the best person that's right for my team? And that's a Mm -hmm. different answer for every single organization because, what you can spend is going to be different. What industry you're in is going to be different. How the rest of your team is constructed is going to be different. What's your go to market? You know, that's going to be, you know, obviously different. And so that's a really big thing right now to where it's like, Hey, if I do indeed actually have to do more with less, let me bring an outside person in that understands, you know, the market and understands the, the candidate base and the skill sets and what skill sets are typically are, are getting combined, you know, in an individual, like, or mm-hmm. because it's like, Hey, if I want, you know, PPC and, you know, marketing automation, is that a unicorn? Yeah, it probably is. <laughs> so, so don't, don't combine those two. Right. Um, it, it's stuff like that. So really just kind of having that other voice in the room, that's going to help mm-hmm. somebody make an, an educated decision. And it's no different, you know, the analogy that I use, and you talked about being in the mortgage industry, Alec is like if you're if you're building a house okay if you're building a house and you hire a general contractor to to help give you advice you know what you might be really good at doing the the framing of of your house okay you can you know build up the walls you know frame everything up but you know nothing about electrical and plumbing well find somebody from the outside that understands if you're going to put a bunch of bids out to these other electricians that those bids are going to be accurate or they're going to be able to tell yeah you know what that electrician uh yeah get the bid that was just way too high. So just bring in an external resource that understands what the market is so they could just give you advice. 